In this episode, I will show you another type of security policies that allows the system admin to determine the validity period of user's access token. To see how this could be done, let's go to the token settings under the settings menu. The access token timespan field represents the period of time the access token remains valid after being issued. We can use hour, day, or month as a base unit. The client application is expected to refresh or obtain a new access token after reaching the end of its lifetime, which is, in this case, 5 minutes. An access token or JSON web token contains the security credentials for a login session and identifies the user, the user's roles, and privileges. It also may contain some supplementary information, such as the date of birth and the path of the profile picture. Access tokens are used in token-based authentication to allow the client application to access an API. The client application receives an access token after a user successfully authenticates and authorizes access, then passes the access token as a credential when it calls the target API. The passed token informs the API that the bearer of the token has been authorized to access the API and perform specific actions specified by the scope that was granted during authorization. The refresh token timespan field represents the period of time the refresh token remains valid after being issued. The default is 60 minutes. Again, we can use hour, day, or month as a base unit. A refresh token is a credential artifact that lets a client application get new access tokens without having to ask the user to log in again in order to obtain a new access token. Therefore, refresh token is typically longer lived than access token. A refresh tokens is issued to the client by the authorization server upon an access token request, and it is used to generate a new access token. The client application can get a new access token as long as the refresh token is valid and unexpired. Each time a refresh token is used to generate a new access token, the refresh token is revoked and replaced by a new refresh token. This technique is known as refresh token rotation. Refresh token rotation is used in Blazor Plate to increase security by reducing refresh token lifetime. For evaluation purposes, I'm going to adjust the default token lifetime policy by changing the value of the access token time span from 5 minutes to 1 minute and changing the value of the refresh token time span from 60 minutes to 2 minutes. Now, it's time to evaluate these settings. First, I'm going to log out, then log back into the system to obtain a new access token. Then, I'm going to run the stopwatch immediately after login. Now let's see how the Blazor Plate authentication system will enforce the new lifetime policy on my new access token. I'm going to force the client application to call some API during the first minute of my login session. Each time the client app submits a request to an API decorated with an authorized attribute, the authentication system will validate whether the access token in the authorization request header is correct and not expired. In our case, the access token lifetime is set for 1 minute, and the refresh token lifetime is set for 2 minutes. The client app should receive 200 status code as long as both access and refresh tokens are not expired. Let's see what happens to my access token when we reach the end of the first minute. The user's token should be invalidated, and the user should be logged out of the system, but instead, the client app has sent a request to the refresh token API asking for renewing the access token and extending its lifespan for another minute. As you can see, I can use the system as long as the refresh token is valid and unexpired. But what will happen to my access token when the refresh token expires? As the refresh token lifetime is set for 2 minutes, I'm going to reset the stopwatch and wait until it's expired. When the refresh token expires, it can no longer be used to get a new access token. The user will be required to re-authenticate the next time they use the application. More importantly, an attacker's window for using a leaked token is limited. As our refresh token is just expired, I'm going to access a page that requires authorization, such as the roles list page. The system should redirect me to the 401 page. And indeed, this is what we expected. Thank you for watching.